In this video, I'm going to demonstrate independent box wall port reference planes and diagonal port reference planes. First, I'm going to demonstrate how to set one box wall port's reference plane to be different than the other reference planes on that same box wall. For this example, we've got three ports here. They're all set to 100, and they're shared. You notice right here it says shared. If I change the reference plane length, I'll change it to something dramatic so we can see it, all three of them changed. That's what we mean by shared. Now let's say we want to set one of them to be different. Click on one here again. Now I go into this change button right here and I set to independent. That means that the reference plane will no longer be shared, it will be independent of all the other reference planes on that same box wall port. We'll set it to fixed, and we'll set it again, we'll set it to some number that's dramatically different. Alright, now you can see that we did that. This, this port now has a different reference plane length than the other ones. Just to demonstrate, we can set it back to shared again, and it'll go right back to the 100. Next, I'm going to demonstrate how to make diagonal reference planes. In this circuit, we have two ports here attached to diagonal reference planes, or diagonal feed lines. We want to put reference planes from the ports up to the edge of the circle. We're going to select both ports, double click on one of them. We're going to set the reference plane length using the mouse. We want to go to right here click OK and see what we got. Well, we didn't get what we wanted. We ended up getting regular fixed length shared reference planes. Marked shared and marked orthogonal right here. So this is just the default way that Sonnet does box wall ports. To change that, we have to push the change button. We want to be able to select this checkbox right here to allow the reference plane to be diagonal. In order to do that, we have to make the reference planes independent. Then we check this box here and click OK. Now we'll set that, that length again using the, use the mouse technique. And we have our two diagonal reference planes. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate diagonal reference planes on components. So here we have a simple four port component. It's orthogonal, not diagonal. We want to set the reference planes for these ports to be in the middle of the pad which the component will be sitting on. So if I click on, on port 1 and set it to 10, which is half the width of that pad, I get reference planes here and here. Again, like the box wall ports, reference planes for the one edge of a of a component are shared. If I go over here and set this one to 10, I'll be setting it for 3 and 4 also. Okay, now we're going to demonstrate a component sitting on diagonal pads. We want to do the same thing. We want to have a reference plane from the port out to the center of the pad. In this case, it needs to be diagonal. So if we just try just to demonstrate here, we'll set this port 1 to 10. Notice it only did port 1, it didn't do port 2. Just like the box wall ports, once a port is diagonal, it must be independent, it's no longer shared. Also notice that you didn't have to specify it in the case of components. Components are done automatically. There is an easy way to set them all here though. We'll just select each one independently, or individually here. So they're all selected. Double click on one of them. Notice it says mixed here, so that, that means you know that you're affecting all ports at the same time. Put in our 10. I guess it was already there, but that's okay. And now we've set all four of our ports to be the center of our pad. So that's all it is to uh, setting up diagonal ports in Sonnet. Please visit sonnetsoftware.com videos for more training and quick tip videos.